This is my modified Kyosho Blizzard SR. I want to show you the inside of it. I'll remove these clips, retaining clips that hold the uh, body on. Here's the body and uh, you can see there's a lot of additional wiring because of the lighting and the uh, uh, electronics that have been put in. Most of the lighting for the wiring and the speed controllers, or I'm sorry, not the speed controllers, the uh, BECs that I added to uh, control the uh, light so that it didn't have to come off of the uh, receiver circuit, the, the power for the lights, that is. Uh, most of that wiring is shoved up in here, and it's connected to the receiver and to my uh, battery here via this tap right off the beginning of the battery before it splits into the two circuits for each of the two speed controllers and the brushless motors. The uh, first modification really was adding the uh, brushless motors. These are two from Hobby King. They're relatively inexpensive, about $20 a piece. They're uh, 17 turns, so they're not the fastest motors, but they should have a fair amount of torque and it's definitely plenty fast for this uh, Snowcat. The speed controllers are underneath this plate here, and they're both 60 amp uh, Hobby King speed controllers that were about uh, $25 a piece. Uh, I'm using the uh, 9 channel 2.4 gigahertz Turnigy system, which is $39 for the entire receiver and transmitter set. Here's the uh, receiver, and I'm using seven of the channels, uh, three for turning. Um, actually two for turning on and off the lights, um, two for controlling the pan and tilt on the spotlight, one for the servo that controls the blade up and down, and then two for the uh, forward reverse and turning. Um, I, the original uh, Kyosho uh, controller uses a two stick control mechanism, but I don't really like that. Uh, in that situation, you have to push both forward to go forward, both reverse and then to go reverse and then to turn, you have to do something like that. I changed to a single stick system. So forward is just right stick up, uh, reverse, right stick down, left and right with the one stick. And then my uh, pan and tilt for the camera is on the left stick. And I showed you the, uh, the uh, other controls are, this is for the blade, turning it up and down. Uh, this is the uh, gear switch for the lights. And uh, this switch back here, which is a throttle hold switch, is for turning on the spotlight on and off. That's it. The uh, battery I'm using is a GE Power. Uh, 5.3 amp hours or 5300 milliamp hours. It actually fits in here quite well. Um, I'll show you how it connects. So that's that tech for the uh, lights. Um, there's a uh, Velcro holder in here that uh, kind of snugs it up right at the very front. And then the uh, battery itself slides right out. And that's it. Significantly more power than it had stock. Uh, well, it actually doesn't come with a battery, but uh, 5.3 amp hours should give it plenty of uh, duration. I haven't really checked it yet. One mod I made was uh, changing the switching of the functions like the blade up and down is now this uh, control up here. So, oops, I'm sorry, it's not that one, it's this one right here. So twisting this will lower and raise the blade. The main light switch is my gear switch, which turns the lights, including the uh, strobe light, on, but doesn't turn the uh, spotlight on. The spotlight is controllable with the uh, left stick 
and the switch to turn the spotlight on is this one here which uh, you can see is pretty bright um, and that moves it around 